kids. I'm just doing some cleaning up around the playhouse. Just one of my weekly chores. Do you guys have chores or work that you have to do around your house? Like maybe cleaning your room or loading the dishwasher or maybe feeding the dog? What happens when you get your chores done? Hmm, do you earn extra screen time or maybe even some money from your parents? That never happened with me. My parents never gave me any money, but I have heard that some kids get lucky like that. But more than anything, I think I remember from when I was a kid doing jobs around the house that my mom was just really happy when I actually did it. You know, when I cleaned my room. Okay, really, what I really remember is what happened when I didn't clean up. She was not happy with me. I may have even gotten grounded a few times. But you know what, just because she was upset with me, just because I disappointed her, didn't mean she stopped loving me. Scripture tells us that there is nothing we can do to earn God's love. God wants us to do things for God and serve other people. It's called our good works, but we don't do those good works to earn God's love because God already loves us no matter what. It's not like the harder you work or the more things you do for others, the more God will love you and give you blessings and good stuff. It doesn't work like that. And even when we mess up, even when we fail to do the things that we should, God still loves us. The Apostle Paul writes in his letter to Romans, I'm convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Not death or life, not angels or rulers, nor present things or future things, not powers or height or depth or any other thing that is created. So if God will still love us no matter what, and if we're not earning screen time or money, then what's the point in working for God? You know, what's the point in serving others? Well, I think we do it because we're so filled with God's love that we can't help but want to share it with others. That's our good news this week. You don't have to earn God's love, but the more you learn about God, the more you will fall in love with God, the more you'll want to serve God and serve others. And people who serve God and serve others are world changers. You can change the world too. What will you do this week to change the world around you for the better? Let's pray together. Dear God, help us to see all the ways that we can serve others around us, that we can share your love. Help us to fall more and more in love with you every day, wanting to get to know you better, to learn more about you, to pray more often, so that we can grow deeper in our relationship with you. And then, out of the overflow of that love for others, serve and do your work. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye guys, have a good week.